World Bank issues 108 million US dollar grant to His Excellency Welka Gutam 7 despite stinking human rights records. Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly of do, and don't forget to turn on the notification button for all these updates. Well, let's take you through some of these details. The World Bank has provided 180 million US dollar grant for the Uganda COVID-19 response, an emergency preparation project according to the reports from the Ministry of Health. The money, as predicted by many Ugandans, will however be channeled to the ongoing military campaigns targeting civilians and unarmed citizens. Although the World Bank believes these funds will be used to procure vaccines for at least 11.7 million people, improve the capacity to spare scale of disease surveillance as well as part of the funds to be used for improving infrastructural facilities and it is common knowledge that General Museveni will channel it to security which to him is a priority for him to consolidate his four decade rule. The loan has not gone well in the eyes of the National Unit Platform Party top boss that is His Excellency Honorable Robert Chagulani who last week was in the European Parliament where he appealed to foreign countries to stop giving funds to Uganda on grounds that most of these funds disappear through corruption, while others are used by the regime to brutalize the citizens of the country. Chagulanyi and many Ugandans believe that if the government of General Museveni is weakened financially, it will bow down to the demands of the citizens later leading to its collapse. His Excellency Robert Chagulan promised to fight tooth and nail to make sure he brings down the government of General Museveni, whom he accuses of rigging the 2021 election. In the recent days, Museveni and his government have been under fire over the gross vi uh, rights violations that have taken a center stage, and many people have been murdered, others tortured, for their dissenting beliefs. So the most notable are celebrated author Kakwenza Rukirabashaija, a National Unit Platform Party registrar, Samuel Masereka, who sustained life-threatening injuries after being tortured by the CMY boss that is formerly headed by Abel Kandiho. So according to His Excellency Robert Chagulani, His Excellency Wel Kagutam 7 is not allowed not supposed to be given any funds reason being that he requests the funds in the name of helping the citizens of uganda instead he uses the money to improve the arms of uganda the arms forces of uganda just to come and torture the citizens of uganda well that is it for now projan media tv and if you haven't subscribed yet why so kindly do and if you are coming by, you have ever so have always subscribed and just come by to watch our videos or updates. We are so much pleased and if you have liked our video, just give us a thumb up and comment in the section below in case if you would like to share your views and ideas about this. Once again, thanks for watching Projan Media TV.